Top 20 Technical Solutions Engineer Interview Questions and Answers Solutions engineers are software and hardware experts that work alongside the sales team to provide customized business software solutions for customers. Their primary responsibility is to increase sales by explaining the benefits of the company's products and developing bespoke solutions for new customers. Here are the top 20 technical solutions engineer interview questions and answers for your interview preparation. 1. Why are you interested in this role? This part of your answer expresses your excitement for what you will be able to accomplish for them while also emphasizing the advantages they will obtain. You must market yourself as a sole business person capable of outperforming the competition in terms of customer service. Sample answer. This was a position that piqued my curiosity right away. I've completed a number of diplomas and obtained a number of certificates that qualify me for such responsibilities and positions. Furthermore, my computer science background demonstrates my enthusiasm for this field. This field fascinates me greatly, and I am eager to join your firm. 2. What are the roles of technical solutions engineer? When it comes to figuring out what a technical solutions engineer does, there is a never-ending list of jobs that take a lot of attention and intense concentration. Roles and responsibilities are assigned to each duty. The interviewer wants to see how knowledgeable you are about the subject. Sample answer. A technical solutions engineer is in charge of designing and managing network systems and servers to support corporate needs and operations, as well as enhancing employee productivity and reducing complicated and time-consuming procedures. Technical solutions engineers examine system applications and servers for quality, look for discrepancies and offer configuration approaches to improve infrastructure. They also verify that the databases are secure to avoid illegal access and operations from unidentified outside sources. 3. What are the qualities that technical solutions engineer needs to be successful? You will be expected to perform discovery conversations with our skilled sales representatives, develop and give presentations, explain the benefits of firm products, and create bespoke software solutions for the customer as a solutions engineer. As a result, the qualities required for a successful technical solution engineer are critical for the company's growth. Sample answer. You should have an in-depth understanding of software and hardware systems, a passion for sales, and high-level communication skills to succeed as a solutions engineer. Finally, a top-tier solutions engineer increases sales by developing specific business software solutions that are tailored to the demands of the customer. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you manage them? Challenges make you stronger and open room for innovation and creativity. The sole purpose of this question is to acquire knowledge about your challenges and how you manage to get out of them. Sample answer. My major challenge in the previous job was to develop a two-way communication system software for the client that not only allowed to add more people to the conference call but also provide complete freedom and encryption to the files. The data was sensitive and I was able to achieve this by constant communication with my technical team and with deep research, we were able to create this for our client. 5. Describe your daily routine as a technical solutions engineer. There is a lot to do in practical life of a technical solution engineer. Give a brief overview of the types of activities you engage the technical staff in rather than a minute by minute account of your day. Tell about the activities that you do at your office rather than expressing a cup of coffee in the morning. Sample answer. An average day in the life of a technical solution engineer in a sales field would look like this. Effectively communicating technical features and or design of the products or services with other technical staff as much as feasible to align with client needs, preferences, pain points. Customize the solution as much as possible to correspond with client needs, preferences, pain points. Present solutions to customers and demonstrate products. Answer queries and provide general support to both clients and internal staff. Keep a close eye on market developments or situations. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. Any work comes with a set of responsibilities, so knowing what you've done before can help your interviewer figure out if you're ready for the job. Even if they can't see it on your CV or application, your ability to articulate your work history and attach it to the position shows that you've considered your future employer's expectations. Sample answer. I have five years of expertise providing technical solutions in a variety of software houses and technical organizations. On the basis of my schooling and certificates, as well as my experience, I was engaged as a technical solution engineer. My primary responsibility was to provide solution software for clients and to improve my firm's performance. 
7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? Working as a technical solution engineer requires a strategic decision to many problems. If it is not done in this way then a simple problem may get complicated. There are multiple ways of solving similar kind of issues. So strategies and a clear mindset are required. The best answer can be sample answer. The best strategy or the mindset required for this role is to communicate with you, other technical team members. Because if you want a quick and long-lasting solution, then it is ideal to communicate with each other as there are multiple solutions to one single problem. Apart from this, one should keep learning and updating the education. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? This question can be used to show that you are qualified for the job. It can also be utilized to demonstrate that you are motivated by difficulties and capable of handling difficult tasks. The interviewer also asks this question to determine your mental capacity as well as remove the hurdles before your joining. Sample answer. The biggest challenge that I foresee in this role is that you have quite a few staff of technical solutions. It helps a lot when you have a good quality staff of different categories. This helps in developing a good solution software or in gathering the information that saves time and money as well. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? This question is one of the most important questions as firms constantly look for those employees who are self-motivated and self-driven. Motivation helps a lot in the growth and such employees work honestly. The motivational factor may vary from person to person and from place to place. So try to be honest and explain in detail what motivates you and what drives you into this job. Sample answer. I love this role and this is what drives me into this field. Providing solutions, developing software, resolving hardware issues, and gathering data to improve the overall performance of the firm is what I like the most and it motivates me as well. Money is not an issue because this field is high paying. What I love is to work in a challenging environment which opens up the mind and forces you to think differently. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Lessons are essential in life. They give us experience and raise our levels. The interviewer wants to assess your past challenges in which you failed and learned lessons. This is extremely important for growth purposes and the interviewer will also get an idea of when you failed last time. Sample answer. In my prior position, we were responsible for developing a solution program, which I described earlier. This was supposed to be a group project, but I started working on it on my own. Because this took a long time, I was unable to deliver it on time. This prompted a slew of questions, and I found myself totally speechless. The performance suffered as a result, and the client became enraged. From then, I learned to operate as part of a team, and once I did, the work became easier to accomplish and on time. 11. Why do you feel you are the most suited for this role? When responding to this type of inquiry, your goal is to sell yourself to the hiring manager and persuade him that you are a standout prospect. This highlights your confidence and gives an idea that what makes you think that you are the best candidate for this position. Sample answer. My qualifications are a wonderful fit for the job criteria. My technical talents and job experience, in particular, make me an excellent candidate for the role. For example, at my last employment, I oversaw a five-person technical solution team, and we had the best track record in our company branch. I can apply my previous accomplishments and skills to this position. 12. Share with us your greatest achievement. Employers will sometimes inquire about your biggest professional achievement, and other times they will just ask, what is your greatest achievement? Keep your response focused on a professional accomplishment, no matter how they approach the inquiry. Sample answer. When I was working for another organization, we needed to fix a software problem and did it by working as a team after learning from our earlier mistake. This assignment was completed in such a short amount of time that our employer was overjoyed and offered us a bonus for the month. 13. What is chipset? How is it different from processor and motherboard? This is a technical question that will give an idea about your skills and education. Technical questions are asked to assess your education as well. These are the most relevant questions for the technical solution engineer that are often asked during an interview. Sample answer. A chipset is one of the computer's processing units. It's a collection of integrated circuits that regulate the flow of data between other components and the processor. It is a collection of microchips that work together to accomplish one or more functions. 
all other components including as the CPU, memory, and sockets for external connectors and drives are connected to the motherboard. A motherboard's chipset is a built-in feature. A processor, on the other hand, is a major integrated circuit block that performs functions in response to instructions from a computer program. It is based on the system's logic, arithmetic, and input or output. 14. What are the steps to come out with a good product or solution? A technical solution engineer is responsible for the overall growth of the firm. They don't have to see the software or the hardware side of the firm only, but they also need to put efforts to increase the sales by explaining the benefits of the company's products and developing bespoke solutions for new customers. The interviewer wants to analyze what steps you think are necessary to develop a good product or solution. Sample answer. The steps that I usually take involve defining your target audience, knowing how to reach your audience, understanding the buying journey, validating the product, knowing your competition and be different, create a free trial or demo, get everyone on the same page, offer early use incentives and keep testing it. 15. Can you define some techniques to gather requirements or information from the clients? Techniques define how activities are carried out in various situations. A task could have no related techniques or one or more. This question is asked to further assess your knowledge regarding the field as this question purely belongs to the work that you'll be doing as a technical solution engineer. Sample answer. I'd like to begin with brainstorming in order to get as many ideas as possible from a group of people so that I can find potential solutions to problems and establish details of opportunities. Then I'll go on to document analysis, where I'll look over the documentation of an existing system to see if there's anything I can learn from it to assist me to create an as-is process document. A focus group is necessary to obtain input from a group of people who are representative of a product's customers or users. Following that, I'll go on to the interface analysis to ensure that we produce usable software. Other steps will include interviews of stakeholders and users, observation, prototyping, reverse engineering, and survey and questionnaire. 16. Define criteria or things to consider producing a good solution. Every business owner wishes he could know whether their idea would become the next great thing. As a good technical solution engineer, the interviewer wants to see how you come up with solutions. Sample answer. I generally look for these five things. Depth, intelligence, completeness, empowering ability, and elegance. In conclusion, the optimal solution is one that is fully featured. Depth. Demonstrates that you understand customer demands. Intelligence. Includes assistance, completeness, empowers clients, empowering, and is simple to use. Elegance. I normally ask myself as I create solutions that if they are deep, intelligent, complete, empowering, and elegant. 17. Define cache memory. What is the advantage of having additional cache memory in a processor? We often hear the word cache. As a technical solution engineer, you must have knowledge of some basic concepts and terminologies. This question is asked to assess your level of exposure and education. Sample answer. The memory space between the processor and the RAM is known as cache memory. The system's speed will grow as the cache memory is increased. 18. What is overclocking? What are the benefits of overclocking? This is a must-asked question because overclocking is something that is often required by firms and there are few benefits of it as well. Answer to this question will make a huge impact on your overall interview performance. The right answer to this question is sample answer. It is a method of forcing a computer component to run at a higher clock rate. Improves CPU performance. Saves money. Makes PC games and applications run quicker. 19. How would you decide the price of a solution? Calculating how much to charge for your products, services, or solutions may appear to be as straightforward as adding up the costs of production plus a profit margin. Unfortunately, this markup or cost plus strategy is prevalent, and it can lead to money being left on the table as well as unnecessarily delayed future growth. This is an extremely important question because, on the basis of this knowledge, you will give profit to the organization. Sample answer. The purpose of pricing is to maximize the solution's long-term profit based on the value it gives to clients. Value pricing is one way to achieve this goal. The best price is determined by how much value your offering delivers to clients in comparison to their other options. First, I'd like to know what your point of differentiation is. What other options do your prospects have for resolving their business issues? 
In dollars and cents, how much value do your unique solutions create for your customers? On this basis, I will price my solution. 20. What is a microprocessor? This popular question will be asked at the conclusion if all goes smoothly. This indicates that the interviewer is pleased with your performance and only needs to ask a very basic lever question to conclude the interview. Sample answer. A microprocessor is a device that is operated by a program. It reads the data instructions from memory and decodes them before executing the instruction.